Imagine a machine, a fighter jet, capable of taking off vertically from an area no larger than a tennis court. This is not a mere flight of fancy, but a reality in the form of the AV-8B Harrier II. This jet doesn't just fly, it dances in the sky with speed and agility that leave one in awe. The power of its engine and its unique vertical takeoff and landing capabilities set it apart from its contemporaries. This extraordinary machine is none other than the McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II. The birth of this extraordinary machine began in the late 1970s. During a time of immense technological progress, the Harrier II was born out of a unique collaboration between the United States and the United Kingdom. The two nations, renowned for their military prowess, pooled their resources and expertise to create a fighter jet that was ahead of its time. This multinational project was nothing short of a marvel. It brought together the best minds from both sides of the Atlantic, who worked tirelessly to push the boundaries of what was possible. They incorporated groundbreaking advancements in aerodynamics, materials and avionic systems, resulting in a fighter jet that was not only incredibly powerful, but also highly versatile. But the journey wasn't without its challenges. The team faced numerous technical hurdles and budget overruns, yet they persevered, driven by their shared vision of revolutionizing aerial combat. After years of development, the Harrier II was ready for deployment, forever changing the landscape of aerial warfare. The Harrier II was not a mere one-trick pony. It was a versatile beast, ready to adapt to the needs of the battlefield. Deployed initially by the United States Marine Corps in the mid-80s, this vertical takeoff and landing aircraft demonstrated its prowess in several military operations. During the Gulf War, the Harrier II's ability to operate from forward bases close to the front lines proved invaluable, striking targets with precision. In the harsh environment of Afghanistan, it excelled in providing close air support to ground forces, showcasing its adaptability and resilience. But the Harrier II's versatility doesn't end there. Several variants of this aircraft have been developed over the years, each with its own unique set of features and capabilities. The AV-8 B Harrier II Plus, for instance, equipped with a radar system, enhanced its air-to-air -air combat abilities, while the TAV 8B variant served as a dedicated two-seater trainer, ensuring the next generation of pilots could master this unique aircraft. Then there's the British Aerospace's Harrier II GR7 and GR9, the United Kingdom's adaptations, which saw action in both Iraq and Afghanistan. These variants boasted improved sensors and weapons, enhancing their night attack and reconnaissance capabilities. From its initial deployment to its various adaptations, the Harrier II has proven itself as a formidable force in the sky. The Harrier II has left an indelible mark on the history of aerial warfare, a marvel of engineering and design. It revolutionized the way we approach combat in the sky. Its unique vertical and short takeoff and landing capabilities, combined with its supersonic speeds and robust armament, have made it a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. The Harrier II's development and deployment, along with its various variants, have only added to its legacy. Today, the Harrier II continues to serve as an inspiration for modern fighter jet designs, influencing generations of engineers and pilots alike. Its impact on military strategy and tactics cannot be overstated, having fundamentally altered the way we conduct operations both on land and at sea. The legacy of the Harrier II is not just in its past achievements, but also in its enduring presence in the world of military aviation. Whether on land or at sea, the AV-8B Harrier II continues to dominate the sky, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of aerial superiority.